Hello and welcome to the Epic Boys Podcast. I'm Owen, and I will be joined by my co-host Tanner. Hello. And uh, my special guest... Mama Max. There we go. Yeah, um... I, I was hoping you would say I'm Max, but uh... <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah, d- d- do, do it then, Max. Come on. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm Max. <laughs> yes. Smooth, smooth. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We have very we have some, some very important questions to ask. Um, All right. I I think I'm going to start out with the most important question of of the century. Dude, okay. That one, that one really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chicken, monkey, donkey. Who would win in a fight? Oh god. Uh chicken, monkey or donkey? Yeah. I think uh I guess it depends on what kind of monkey it is. Like is it a gorilla? <laughs> no. Or uh it's, it's uh it's the the really small monkey from uh, Night at the Museum. <laughs> okay. Uh I have to I'm going to have to go with I think I'm still gonna go with the monkey. <laughs> really? I yeah, I think I think he'd win. Yeah. He could he could beat up that chicken. I just think he has the most potential. Like he's highly intelligent, so maybe like if there's a weapon around, he could <laughs> grab it, stab <laughs> them. Yeah. Uh, they stand no chance. Yeah. <laughs> and I've never seen a donkey in a fight. Well, it might it might kick. Yeah, I feel like if the donkey had some good brute force behind the kick, it maybe not be the smartest, but if it lands a good hit, it kills anything. I didn't think about that. You're right. <laughs> okay. A good donkey would would definitely kill someone. <laughs> so you you still sticking with your answer? Yes, I'm gonna still stick with the monkey. All right. Um. Okay. N- n- a more of a. Tanner can ask this one since he's more of the more of the serious person of uh, the two. All right, all right. So, what inspired you to start YouTubing and whatnot? Oh gosh! All right, let me think. YouTube. Okay, well, I always wanted to be a filmmaker and still do, and still plan on doing that. And YouTube is just the perfect place for like little little kids like us to. Uh, to express ourselves and exercise our creative muscles and that's how it started but then what started the channel actually is I saw all these creators like Leafy just doing literally just putting on some footage of uh, CSGO surfing and talking over it and I'm like I can do that (laughs) so I did that, except I did more than just put footage of CSGO surfing, obviously. Yeah. But that's yeah. what's that's what started, is seeing all these people get really popular for doing shit I can do. For doing shit anyone can do, really. <laughs> it's almost like playing in a playground, I'd think of it. Yeah, a playground. And that's my answer. Alright, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Thank uh, you. I was, gonna, I was gonna interrupt you and say... Um, yeah, I, I, I'd say you do quite a lot more than just, uh, commenting over, <laughs> over CSGO surf gameplay. Thank you. Yeah, your, your videos, man, they're, like, heavily edited. Like, the main channel videos are full-on documentaries. Thank you. And then, I'm glad then, you think so. then your second channel videos are just, like... Trash. Well, there. I wouldn't say trash. I'd say I enjoy them quite a lot. I'd call those my gold. <laughs> well, thank you. I just shit them out though, so <laughs> I consider them trash. But I'm glad y'all like it. Sometimes that's where the best content comes from. Yeah, that's true. Um, what's your favorite video game? Oh, God. <laughs> Favorite video game. There's so many good ones. I don't know if I can pick a favorite. I can tell you like my top 50 Because there's like I can't put one over the other 
because they all give me something different. Yeah. Yeah. Like Mario is gonna give me a, a, a astronomically different emotion than something like Skyrim, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll just start listing them. Off. I'm looking at my Steam list right now. I'll just start listing them off. <laughs> ones that I, ones that I love: uh, Witcher, Dark Souls, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Diablo. Uh, and that's really just scratching the surface. Nice. I love nice. I love tons of video games. Yeah. I, I see what you mean, too. Like, every video game is a different story in its own way. Yes. Yes, precisely. What's y'all's favorite video games? Ooh, that's you want to go first? Yeah, Tanner, you can go first, because I don't All know. Alright. Um, oh, it's either Mario 64 or Halo Reach. Excellent choices. Halo Reach was kind of what got me into whole gaming in the first place. Yeah, man. Halo was big for all of us. Oh, yeah. For me, I don't know. I it's, it's, I think it's too hard of a question, to be honest. It's probably any of, any of the Mario games, but definitely 64 is... This is the star of all yeah. of them, yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can, Tanner can ask this one. Alright. <laughs> okay, so, since a lot of your videos are about, like, giving advice to people who struggle with depression and whatnot, what would be your probably your best piece of advice for someone who may be going through some hard times? Hard times. Okay, my best piece of advice? Let's see... There's so many good ones. My best piece of advice... my I guess my best piece of advice is just... Don't kill yourself, because that's... Because in time, you get over it. In time, like, it goes away. And there are some people that say, No! It doesn't! Fuck you! Yes, it does. I've been through it. There's so many people who've been through it. I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> uh, there's so many people who've been through it that can attest to what I'm saying. You just have to suffer through it. You'll Every time, you'll find something. You will yeah. always find something, whether it's like, I don't know, therapy. I didn't do therapy. I just I just make videos, and then now I'm going to start making films, and that's what, that's, what give, that's what gave me a purpose and made me happy. And I no longer suffer from depression or any, any of that shit. And... As technology and medicine gets better, there's just- it's- it's so stupid to kill yourself. So just don't give up. That's my best piece of advice. Don't give up. You hear it all the time, because it's true. And well, that's what I have to say. It's a very good way to think about it all. Yeah. Good advice. And I, I'm- I'm glad that you don't, um, you're not depressed or anything anymore. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> I've- Honestly, in my opinion, I have I have a large pool of friends, but I find the people who do struggle with depression are the like the nicest people because they know what other people could be going through and they respect other people in a different way. Yes. I yeah. agree. So I feel like the best people are the ones who struggle. So <laughs> if they do kill themselves, it's horrible because you you're just getting rid of an incredible person most of the time. If not yes, all the time. Yes, that's right. That's right. You are special, no matter what you think. You you mean a lot to uh, some people, even just one person. Absolutely. No, do not <laughs> read that one. Okay. <laughs> Especially not after a question like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I I might I have a question and I might read it later, <laughs> but I I feel like it might not be the best follow up to something like that. Okay. <laughs> um, That's fine. On your second channel, you make a lot of anime reviews. Do you actually yeah. enjoy anime? God. All right, here we go. So, the thing is, I actually hate anime. I hate it. <laughs> but there are certain good anime that I love, like uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and I know it's American. Avatar The Last Airbender is one of the best. Oh, yeah. Uh... Evangelion, like I love a lot of good anime, but anime in general, I hate it just because like <laughs> the tropes yeah. and the 
Oh, I feel you know like it's just saying. become such an internet meme almost that it's almost like not okay to like it for some people. I agree, yes. And just, like, there is good, there is good anime out there, but so, so an overwhelming amount of it is just trash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure the cr creators and the artists, they, they have a lot more they can do, but yeah. for some reason, the production com companies just want to shit out, like, another SAO clone and all that shit. Yeah. yeah. Which... I don't think they realize that we are starting to get sick of. Mm -hmm. And that's my spiel on anime. Yeah. Okay. What about... <laughs> what about hentai? <laughs> that's a great follow-up, because my answer is actually... It's kind of different. I guess you could say I hate... I used to enjoy hentai. I used to, you know, I used to be therapeutic for someone like me who was like addicted to porn. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, not, you're not alone there. Don't worry. <laughs> it was nice first time, but I mean, obviously, if you like try to analyze the story for any of them, <laughs> it makes you want to hang yourself. So, <laughs> it's 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 with with some of it, it's like. You you can't even sit through it without just thinking of how dumb it is. Yeah, yeah. Like I, sometimes, oh god. Or just whenever, laughing at the, yeah. the storyline. Oh yeah, yeah I sometimes I watch younger. them just for the sake of laughing because of how good the storyline yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> I find I find the only reason I usually watch. <laughs> you're, when you're looking for something really brutal, hentai is the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a hard truth. Okay, um, this next question I was hoping it'd be something better, but it's it's uh it's really not that much better. Um, That's okay. On the Hot Wet Soup podcast, you said that you are able to suck my own dick. Yes, exactly. That is <laughs> yes. that is exactly. Is that true? Yes, it is. Holy crap, bless your soul. <laughs> and if I get if I get ten million subscribers I'll show proof. <laughs> so uh you 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 guys heard it here first, go subscribe to Mama Max. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um I feel like that is a talent most guys have tried to do at least once in their life and given up on. Yeah, first I, I have this thing in my chest. I forgot what it's called. It's like a little dip in my chest, uh, where I'm able. Uh, what's the dip called? Let me see. I keep forgetting the name, but I know I have it. It's just giving me the workout chest dips. Not what I'm looking for. <laughs> chest ca like my chest cavity is like caved in a little bit. Hmm. Uh, it, there's a specific name for it. Here it is. Uh, pectus excavatum. Yeah, my chest, my chest cavity is like slightly, it's like a meteor hit there, and now there's like a crater. Hmm. It doesn't look weird. It looks normal. It's just, it's slightly inward. Hmm. So that just and allows you to bend over further, I guess? Yes, I can, <laughs> I can't, yes, I can do what I say I can do. Oh my gosh. That's that. Okay. Um... On to, uh, I'll give this one, I'll, I like giving the serious ones to Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Give it to me, Tanner. Alright. If you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? Uh, one thing about my life that I could change? Uh... It can and be can minor, it be it can something... Be can it be something, like, that has to do with my... Like, me? Can I change myself? Yeah, sure. I would make myself four inches taller. Because <laughs> right, right now I'm 5'11", but I want to be 6'3". I think that's the perfect human height. That's the only thing I'd change, really. And even then, I kinda, I'm kind of comfortable where I'm at. Like, I'm, I like where I'm going. That's good. Yeah, I think my life's going, going exactly how I want it to go. So I'm glad to hear it. Thank you.
uh, I see where you're coming from too, because I'm also 5'11", so it's like, I always think I at least want to just be six feet tall, and it's almost like a tease yeah. not to be there. <laughs> like, you're so close, but so far. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. I, I, uh, I'm six feet tall. Yeah, you're, you're like six foot three. <laughs> <laughs> wow, lucky. <laughs> lucky you. Um... <laughs> What is your favorite video you've ever made? My favorite video. Yeah. My favorite video, actually, can it be one that I haven't released? Sure. Yeah. Then it's the one I'm working on right now. I think that one's going to be my best video. And then the one after that, I think... But I always think the one I'm working on is going to be my best. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. My depression video was really good. I liked, I loved all of my uh, saving game documentaries. I loved all those. I loved working on them. Yeah, I really like the saving game ones. Thank you. But uh, a lot of people, a lot, most people who have come to my channel came because of the loneliness video. Yeah. Because that one, that one has over a million for some reason. But I hate that video. <laughs> I hate that video so much. Why is that? Uh, it just, the uh, production quality and my voice especially, like I'm talking like a little bitch. Like, I hate that. Like, that's why I've inherited that 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 deeper voice in like my yeah. saving game videos, because I like the deeper voice, especially for these kinds of videos. But when it's like, oh, hey guys, I hate that shit. <laughs> and I know, I don't know, I just hate my, my higher voice in those videos. Yeah, it, it it makes a point too, because it almost like I don't know if this is rude or anything. I don't intend to be, but a higher voice is almost like it doesn't have as much of an impact in a way. Yeah, yeah, you see where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, that's why I like my newer videos, cause I, cause I've been doing vocal training and then getting getting a better mic, so I'm more used to, uh, or I'd rather have a deeper voice for those kinds of videos at least. Yeah, just like, cause the, just the subject matter of some of your videos, it's like you want it to seem important and um, meaningful, I guess. Yeah, man. It's more serious and deep voice sometimes help with, helps with that. I'm glad y'all think so, yes. Thank you. But I do like your loneliness video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad that it helps people out. But I mean, I can do more than the lo the loneliness yeah. video is very like it's not even a uh, a fraction of the skill I can use on my writing and video making yeah. now. Like I can remake it much better, which I've thought about doing. But then I'm like, oh, I guess I don't really need to. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. Um. I really like the idea of you doing how you have like the two channels, one for more mental help kind of thing, and the other just for more more laughs almost. And I see that the reason I see it as such a good idea is because one of them is you know to make people laugh and people have a good time, and the other is it's like a beacon of hope. If people aren't feeling too good, you're even though you can make people laugh, you'll still be there for them. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um. Will you sit down and play Tiddlywinks with me? Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Tiddlywinks. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what that is. Explain it's it to a, me. <laughs> it's this game that, uh, you... I, I don't know, it has something to do with these chips, and you gotta get them in the cup? Uh, and you play physically? Like, I have to be in your physical vicinity? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this isn't one of those things where it's like the muffin game. Y'all know about that? Nope. Oh, I, I, I have a feeling I know, and no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so it's nothing sexual. No. No, 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 no. So you just throw chips in a cup? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I think. I, I genuinely don't know. The, the context behind that is just... 
it, it was like one of those. I'm sorry for cringe if this is at all cringe. Like it was a, a Snapchat story, and one of the things just said, "Would you like to sit down and play Tiddlywinks with me?" And he just sent that to me out of nowhere one day, and apparently that made it to this <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sure, I'll play Tiddlywinks with you. <laughs> yeah, it was just like some random inside joke I just wanted to throw in there as like a... Just a, a one of the dumber questions. <laughs> well, thank you for asking and inviting <laughs> me. Yes, I'd be happy to play with you. Okay. Um... Oh, uh, sure. why... Uh, why Hong Kong 97 music in the anime, <laughs> anime reviews? Yes! Oh, goodness. So you, uh, have you seen the Angry Video Game Nerd video on that? Yes, of course. No! No way! <laughs> How do you like that soundtrack? That won't get annoying at all! Yes, so that's what- after I saw that video, I thought that was the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> so obviously I inherited that and just used it as my intro, cause... For some reason, it also doesn't get copyright claims, so that's oh, really? great. Yeah. yeah, that is great. And, uh... Yeah, I just think it's hilarious, and, like, my memories with it is funny, so I'm like, Oh, maybe if I put this in, it'll make my video funny. Mm -hmm. So... That was my thought process using it, and hopefully it's worked out. Yeah, whatever it takes to not get copyright claimed, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes YouTube isn't the greatest with that. Oh yeah. I don't even have it's YouTube, worse. and I kind of understand what's going on with it. Like, it just seems... <laughs> yeah, it's that widespread. Yeah, it's... It's dumb in a way. Oh yeah. It's they really need to figure their shit out, because even Twitch, like, I'm not afraid to play shit on Twitch. Yeah. Because I know Twitch, at most, Twitch will just mute it. They're not gonna fucking strike me, or kill my channel because of it. Yeah. Which is so stupid. So hey, ridiculous. You've, you've had some experiences with uh, YouTube killing channels of yours. Oh, yes. I've, I've been through the experience. Yeah. They removed my channel. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, then they brought it back and didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, that was fairly recently, wasn't it? Yeah, so what, a few months ago, maybe three or four months ago, I don't really remember. But, uh, yeah, that was not that long ago, and I still have the scars from that. <laughs> Okay. I feel like if YouTube doesn't pick up their game, some other company or something is gonna make like a better YouTube. Like you have oh, YouTube yeah. used to be. Someday it's coming. Yeah, it's one, coming someday. Oh, Everyone yeah. says one, one can only hope. Well. I'm sorry. What'd you say? One can only hope. Oh yes, I'm sure as technology advances, more and more people are gonna start making you their own versions of YouTube, and one is actually gonna be able to compete. Maybe more. Yeah. But YouTube will not have a monopoly forever. Yeah, it's... That's... Yeah, they do have a monopoly now. It's, they have no competitors. No, even... I guess Vimeo, but that's... We all know that. That's not even a competitor. Like, Vimeo is... We all know is, that's nowhere near <laughs> what YouTube yeah. is. Yeah. 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 So, hopefully one day there'll be a... Oh, um... Okay, my next question is, is isn't isn't really a question as much as it is a a, a statement. Okay. Hakone. <laughs> Rikone. <laughs> oh my god. If I hear that one more time with her on the phone, I'm gonna hurt you very bad. <laughs> I, I only get this joke because we were watching some of your videos before we started this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I've never, no one's ever done that to me before. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Thanks for the Vietnam flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're welcome. <laughs> um. Here, Tanner hasn't asked one in a while. All right. 
Oh, this this is a broad question. What is your favorite classic internet meme? Like, for example, annoying orange, chocolate rain, stuff oh, like that. Oh God. Uh, my favorite classic one. Um, probably. Fuck. Uh, all your base is really good. Have y'all seen that one? What what one is that? All your base are belong to us. All your base are belong to us. I, d I don't think I have seen that. That is one of the very first ones. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was such an old. That was like at the beginning of memehood. Oh, okay. I think I think I have seen this now that I you know see it. I recognize like the sound of it, but I I don't think I know too much of it. Yeah, that would probably be my favorite one. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What would you do if you woke up and some hairy? Morbidly obese man was standing next to your bed, went and then gave you a pail of white creamy paste. What would I do? Yeah. Uh, and I just woke up. Yeah. I think uh, it's probably the best answer you can give. <laughs> um. I'd probably just be like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, what would y'all do? I don't know. I'd probably just roll over and think it's a dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd probably be terrified as to why some... <laughs> as to why some old, old, morbidly obese man is just in my house. Oh yeah, there would no doubt be a ton of fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What happened? Because you had a podcast with that oh my God, person yeah. who's now an ASMR channel. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened to that? Ah, uh, God. Okay, so. Let me say on this podcast that I never wanted to do a podcast in any form with anyone. Like, I just don't... I'm fine being on podcasts, like, as a guest, but I don't want to, like, do a podcast. I don't want to make one. I have no interest in doing that. But Sino, Jonah, Jonah JoJo's ASMR now, mm -hmm. uh, he came to me saying, Hey, Max, if you please do this podcast with me. I think you're a great creator. And if you do it with me, I'll shout out your channel and all this shit. And I was pretty small back then, maybe like 10k, yeah. and he had like 60k. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'll do it. Um, and then we did the podcast, and I hated, just I hated every minute of it. Because <laughs> the premise of the podcast was basically my life sucks videos in podcast form. <laughs> so... Everything we were talking about, I felt, was redundant. Like, I'm like, I already talked about this in my video. Um, and any anything more that I want to talk about it, I talk about in my live streams. I used to live stream all the time, and we just yeah. talk about, you know, shit. Mm -hmm. And just to have a podcast to talk on top of all that, it was just, it just felt like a waste of time to me. Not, no, like, beef with... Uh, right. Sino or anyone that was in the podcast or anything like that. I just hated doing podcasts and I never want to make one again. Okay. Well, and it's, I'm it's stopped you mainly a... because. I'm sorry? No, you, you continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say we stopped because of that, because I hated doing it. Like, we, we. I don't even know if he had a passion for it. I think he just wanted. To find like a niche that right. tapped into a lot of viewers, which obviously during that time a bunch of podcasts were springing up. Like there was a podcast left and right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was 
That was that time. So then yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do this. Uh, yeah, I'm only a few years late to the podcast train. <laughs> That's okay. I think it's okay to do podcasts now. Just during that time, when they were exploding and everyone was doing it, I was like, oh my god. Like, really? That's another thing with me. I don't want to do things that everyone else is doing. Like, I, w- I kind of want to do my own thing. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And, uh. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm, gonna s- I'm gonna send you an image. Okay, so send me an image. Yeah, and I want to hear I want to hear your thoughts on this image. <laughs> <laughs> I I like that. What is that? It's uh, Max's <laughs> it's Max's face put on a uh some three D model on Google images. <laughs> I like that. Fresh. <laughs> All right. Um. What is your favorite type of cream? Cream. Whipped cream. You asked that. <laughs> I loved whipped cream. Whipped cream? That I nice. love whipped cream. That, that's a that's a good that's a good type of cream. Oh, How about my, y'all? My mom recently made some uh it was homemade ice cream, but what she did was she uh took whipped cream and she oh, what did she do? She took whipped cream and froze it with a little bit of vanilla. And that ended up being like homemade ice cream, and it was so good. Oh yeah, frozen whipped cream is so good. Oh yeah. Yeah, for me, I don't know. I'd probably have to go with ice cream. Ice cream is also great. Yeah. I feel like, okay, quick, quick thing for ice cream. If you go to, like, say to a shop with like thirty different flavors compared to a shop with let's say five. In a way, I'd prefer the one with just five, because you're not like, you don't feel like you're missing out on anything. It's more just like, you show up and you think, okay, I have these five, what do I want? I choose that one, and I feel I'm confident with my choice, whereas I go to one with, let's say, like, 20 different flavors. I go in and I think, I want to try, like, five of these. Yeah, you can't decide. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, um... There's a few questions I... I think there's just one question I skipped over. I'm not sure where that was. Oh yeah, what, what, what's your opinion on circumcision, Max? Oh my god. Circumcision? Yeah. Well, I can tell you from experience... I guess not from experience. I wasn't circumcised. Uh, but I do know that... I once read up on this Reddit post, uh, there was this dude who asked women, Hey, women of Reddit, do you prefer circumcised or uncircumcised? And the answer was pretty much unanimous. They said they enjoy sucking circumcised, but they enjoy the feel inside, you know, their vagina of (laughs) uncircumcised. And I'm like, cool. So, and I mean... I don't think I want to circumcise my children. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Um. I th- I think that's about it. I don't didn't really <laughs> write. I wrote down like a, I don't know maybe maybe like two two good questions and then the rest was just like <laughs> stupid shit. That's all right, man. That I thought was funny. But, I enjoyed uh, all of them. It's it's definitely definitely uh, my style of a uh, of interview. B- well, a bit I of, appreciated it. A, a bit of a bit of good questions with mainly just stupid stuff, but I think I think it turned out all right. I think it did too, man. I agree. Yeah, uh, everyone watching this, go subscribe to Mama Max. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Ten million, and I will suck my own dick and yeah. show proof. <laughs> I'm I'm we. W- I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. I can't get you to ten million, but um. I, I, I will try my darndest. Thank you for trying. 